Euh, start. Vas-y, Raph. I'm Raph. Hello, I'm Clement. Hello, I'm Charlotte, producer at Open the Fest. Hello, I'm Charles. Hello, I'm Leo. Actually, we received from the, so we work with uh, BTC. And, uh, and so the first uh, brief we, we got for them was uh, just uh, the, the core idea, actually, just the idea of uh, a couple uh, having a, an argument uh, in their home in Paris. And, they, uh, and actually, all the, the flat and the building start to collapse as they need to escape outside. So basically, <laughs> this is the idea. And quickly, we yeah we thought it was a great idea because it's a metaphor. Of what... I, I I forgot something. You know, they they, they did a kind of a small a small video with some footage from different uh, films with the music on it. It was uh, the music of uh, Edith Piaf we used finally for the for the uh, for the film. And actually, it was really uh, really good already. You know, it was like a bit random the edit on it, but it was a. Uh, was giving a good, uh, good feeling of, uh, of what it could look actually the film. And, uh, and from that, you know, we start to, to think a bit about the idea and uh, start try to find the storytelling and, uh, and how, uh, how, to, how we could, you know, we, we could, uh, you know, we could use a sound design, the music or this kind of uh, things, because, you know, there, there is no sound design on the video. It's only, uh, it's only music. And for us, it was really important to not bring too much sound design uh, in, in it, you know, that it's not to avoid to have it to, to catastrophe. The uh, kind of blockbuster. Yeah, blockbuster, you know, like black blockbuster of, uh, of you know, uh, to understand, to help to understand it's a metaphor, you know, to not, to not, uh, to find, to, to create a distance between the picture and, uh, and, uh, and, and, the, and the music. Uh, I think uh, creatively, when, when we received the, the script, the challenge was to, uh, to find, uh, uh, a way to tell the story of this couple going yeah. through the world collapsing uh, between them. And so we came up with the idea of, okay, the, the building has to collapse, but how about the, the building is like spreading in, in two parts yeah. and it's separating yeah. them. And so it's the whole uh, storytelling about, okay, they had an argument and now the world is collapsing and even like the world has, is separating them, like the, the the catastrophe happening is separating them. So it's the whole challenge in a, like 90 seconds to, uh, to go through this metaphorical journey about when, uh, when you have an argument and you, uh, you have this tipping point when uh, the, the separation can be definitive. And, but when you are at this uh, point of the relationship and, uh, and um, the argument, then uh, the world collapse and you start to think like if you miss the person or not and so uh so we decided that there are like five floor fifth floor and then the the the, um, the building is separating them and then first they have to uh, to protect themselves to escape by themselves and uh and then they will uh, they will join into the journey and uh and find each uh, each other again and uh and it's like kind of the end of the um, of the argument. So, like, yeah, we had to uh, to think about all the the evolution in this uh, collapsing world and how they will uh, like really concretely 
uh, when they go from the fifth floor to the fourth floor, how it's happening, and then on the fourth floor, our hero, the, the guy is like falling another floor down, and uh, what the girl is doing to uh, to join him, and it's yeah. like quite an important moment for them. It's like when the girl is uh, doing the, this jump to join the guy, which yeah. is like uh, a moment of... Uh, it's, a, it's a key moment, yeah. It's a key moment from the brand as well because they have like a kind of big leap in all the commercial they did. You know, there, there is a jump in the first one with the guy jumping from the rooftop and the one in the train, you know, it jump from one train to one other. So it's something we like to keep. And, and um, I, think, I think there's some things that we brought there is like we reverse the uh, the importance. I mean, we, we gave the main role to the girl somehow, like, yeah, she's the one jumping, mm. whether on the two first commercial, it's yeah, always it's the a, guy a, jumping towards the guy. girl. The, the two first is like, first, it's not talking about the cliche love story. It's about what you live in a love story as a the hard moment of a love story and how you go over it. And exactly. it was, it was a chance yeah. to give, uh, yeah, to give to reverse a bit the role and to give like the power also to the girl. Like, even though it's a, a scene we saw on the two first, uh, other commercial, uh, it, it, yeah, it's, it's a girl yeah. this time. And, uh, it was really important for us. And we, uh, you know, with this idea of splitting the, the flat in two parts, uh, for us, it was uh, it was important because at some point we were thinking it, it could be hard to, to totally get the metaphor. And for us, it's it was definitely clear clearer than the guys. They, they need to uh, they are going through their own uh, re reflection and you know, their own thinking about what happened, just happened, the argument. So for us, it was a metaphor of, of that. It, all the time they were, you know, reaching a new uh, a new level. It was like a, a moment in your story when you just had an argument, the moment when you start to, to think, oh, maybe uh, I did a mistake. Oh, no, it's not a good moment. It's not the right moment until the moment of the big leap. And this moment is a moment when you feel the other one is, uh, is really down. You know, it's like it's really in pain. And you, uh, you, you think you are, she almost leave. And she said, no, I can leave him like, leaving like, leave him like that. I need to come back and do something for him to save our, our relationship. I think it depends how you see conflict because some, you, you have to go through conflict. What is important if, it's, if you go through conflict and it's, not, it's, a, it's bad if you just stay on your side and don't talk about it or don't try it. It's a very French point of view actually. No, no, but it's true. But I think somehow uh, you start the film in the middle of the conflict it's almost uh, it's almost finished actually you just get the, the end of it and we had different idea of is it more silent and you understand something happened and somehow uh, yeah going through different ideas it we got kind of convinced that it was interesting to get into something very harsh actually and very intense on the other side of the love like uh, when so, so you're, you're into something very strong that explain you how how yeah how strong is also the, the the moment when she says something you do, you don't hear it and that was also all the point about it even in the lip sync we we made sure that we couldn't really read what she was saying because it wasn't about what she's saying it's all about the image of that massive conflict mm -hmm. and everybody understand it within two frame but it was i think yeah it was a, it, it was somehow interesting to enter really heavily into the scene uh, so you get that very uh, strong uh, uh, contrast with the, with the rebuilding after and we try to have the whole uh, the whole process like uh, of this uh, what's happening in an argument like uh, that kind of big crisis in a couple like yes as we, we started with this uh, with this oral argument until there is like one moment like one sentence of truth like but really painful that is uh, pronounced and that is like the moment like when there is went too far like she said something that was really really painful and uh, so at that moment in the process they all have to uh, to go in a different in separate ways you know in different ways it's almost a metaphor of the breakup you know mm -hmm. like yeah. of, uh, okay they are yeah, on the break on the verge they are I mean, on the verge. They yeah. all save uh, save each other they think about each other at some point like they have to save their own lives and so 
and they are kind of still mad mad at each other so uh, the girl goes in the stairs and the guy goes to the window and they save each other and like they don't think about each other anymore and uh, but when they go down uh, now it's like the moment when uh, they of the relationship when you kind of miss the other one and so they they see each other but they're still mad at each other and so they are just looking at each other but like still having a sort of defi defiance in their in their look and then there is like this moment when the ground is falling under the guy uh, under the guy and uh, so that that's that makes uh, the the girl change a little bit like she sees yeah. that she's like in a bad position and at some point even she, if she's still mad at him she does something uh, like she does a, a gesture. She, she does a move. Yeah, and, and there is something it's something interesting, you know, about the, the emotional travel, you know, st story they, they pass through. You know, actually, when we on the shoot, we did different kind of takes, you know, with the actor because they are professional actors. Both got a, a, a César, it's like, a, like an Oscar in France. And uh, so they're a really good actor and we try different option so it's funny when we, we reach the edit step, uh, we had option, you know, sometimes to make uh, the girl a bit more mean or a bit more like, uh, you know, to change the roles in the relationship. Because, you know, when they run, they run actually. And when the moment they look at each other is when all the, the story, uh, the, the emotional story, you know, uh, happen. And so we had possibilities to make it slightly different. So during the uh, edit uh, with the agency and, and between each other with the editor, uh, we start to to discuss about, you know, maybe uh, is, is the girl supposed to be stronger than the guy here or the opposite, you know, you could, we have, we had the ability to tell the story we want a bit, you know, I mean, not, yeah. the, not the travel, but the, the emotional st story. And it's true that within just changing one, one shot, exactly. It, it was really creating a, a different balance. Uh, if you change one portrait and it doesn't say exactly the same stuff, it was very impressive. How we... I think what they want to uh, to show is uh, the attitude uh, uh, to have an elegant attitude when yeah. you are like going through uh, adversity somehow. And yeah. so uh, it's it's all about like when you are. Uh, when you have a big argument, at some point you can think, oh, um, you can just relate to yourself, and it's uh, and it's the wrong attitude. But at some point, there is also an attitude. Uh, even if you are super mad and the world is collapsing, uh, at some point there is a uh, if you have a if you have a like a, an elegant attitude, at some point you uh, you act differently. Yeah, for, for them, what is really central is this jump, you know, we, we solve it by a jump. But it's this really? moment, you know, the girl is going, you know, jumping for to save uh, her yeah, relationship. So this is what is uh, central for the client. But after that, you know, the agency and us, we knew that it was not only this moment. For them, it's the communication is uh, based on this small moment in the commercial. Uh, we knew that it was a whole story that would make it interesting and emotional and, uh, uh, and a good film, it's not only the jump. No, but also the situation is something like almost everybody can relate on. So um, it happens to, to everybody. So I think it's, uh, yeah, it's something uh, easy to, to, uh, to understand and, uh, and feel, uh, and feel. <laughs> Actually, yeah. so we sh we shot in uh, we shot in Kiev, in Ukraine. Yeah. So it's not Paris at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we explore the, the possibility first, you know, to to shoot in a real flat and move to to studio at some point. But it was not realistic. So everything, yeah, is made in a in a studio. I mean the the flat, and so we built some. Uh, the module, quoi, they are some um, yeah, modules and like these modules, you know, a replica some, of the same room of the same room because as we are, they are going down, you know, you can use the same structure for the, the floor uh, below. Yeah. So, you know, we, we were basically we built the flats, and as in this kind of buildings, all the flats are the same, you know, we were redressing yeah. for every floor exactly. Like, for every we would floor. have the floor of our main hero then. 
overnight we would redress it like a grandmother floor and she would be the grandmother living uh, below them you know but, but, but we had uh, like that so basically the volume was always the same but for the same uh, for mainly for the beginning of the story like we had yeah. a, a flat uh, structure of the apartment that wasn't moving where the old corridor argument starts then we had this really real room which is a living room that was built on on a on a like a, on some on rigs, hanging, kind of rigs, hanging, yeah, hanging yeah, structure yeah. and we could also angle uh, the part that is uh, falling apart so so we had a lot of replica of the of the of the room uh, being able to do different stuff for the different uh, stents that we had to do so the the breaking floor is another uh, uh, time a replica of the 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 side of the guy, but hanging uh, very high in the um, in the in the studio, and the floor was really being brought underneath his feet, so we could feel his knee, uh, you know, leaving uh, the losing the gravity yeah. and falling with it. Yeah, actually, it was a, a puzzle. You know, we we need to uh, sometimes we use two different sets for the same uh, for the same flat because we can do different things in it. You know, so it's it's a bit difficult to explain that. You know, you just need to know that it was like a yeah, a lot of small pieces of uh, of set pieces. You know, we used to to make all this story happen, and obviously we extend the all the city, uh, especially when they are outside. We are not outside. Just uh, some guys from the prospection company they come to, they came to Paris, took some pictures and stuff, and they rebuilt that in, in CGI. Uh, it's uh, it's a huge work of uh, good work of extending all these uh, small pieces of set we were using to. But even and even for us, it was. I mean, for the actor, it was quite hard because uh, sometimes the, sh the they were not uh, acting the same scene uh, facing each other because yeah. the, the two separate parts of the building were not at the same place in the studio. So to keep the emotion of uh, you know like uh, really feeling like they, they look at each other and they're, and they're, and the, the, the building is separating was quite a tricky thing as well because of very different. Uh, we, we had to, to find the, the right angle. Uh, yeah, how they look down. How they look down and they need to move a bit their eyes to follow, like, like if they were following someone going uh, uh, away from them, you know, so it's, uh, or, yeah. It was a pretty technical film because it's true that all the different sets were in pieces and we had to patch it all together at the end uh, to make it work. But it's true that the mega force they work in a way that they prepare a lot what they gonna shoot. So you basically a small have almost have a the edit before you shoot. So it's true that it's kind of easy to fill all the the square. Uh, yeah, it's true. We we and, we had a complete animatic before shooting yeah. that film. Actually, there's yeah. no other way to do it because every scene is so technical. Like. He, you have to build a specific set for every shot somehow. It, so it didn't and change then, so much at the very end. It was almost uh, the animatic we uh, we edit yeah. uh, at the very end. Yeah. That's another thing because we didn't have the budget because basically it was almost like an Avenger uh, movie scene. You know, we had a lot of crazy effect and VFX, but we didn't have the budget of a of an Avenger scene. So some stuff we did like a little bit not homemade, but as an example when the um, the main apartment split in two. We didn't have the budget to have big machinery pulling out the set in two. So it's basically the set was built on platform with wheels. And it was like 10 guys on each side below the set, like rolling it very slowly. So it looks like the-, the Slowly the, and straight because the first set it was wasn't super straight hard because, and it looked very weird, like stuff were not going- Yeah, and it was like yeah. wobbly platform you use to paint sets. So it was not like super, but somehow it worked, you know, it's like the magic of... Yeah, and thanks to the post-production company as well, you know, they had yeah. to uh, to adapt a lot of little details to make, for instance, you know, when we had the two parts of the, of the flat yeah. separating, they need to uh, move them a bit, to change a bit the perspective to make it uh, more yeah, right. I'm based uh, art, they did an amazing job. Yeah. Yeah. All that from, like, the streets they recreated is actually yeah, it's what, yeah. uh, a real street in Paris, so they took yeah, all the of Paris, yeah. uh, it, Actually, they... everything is almost the real stuff from Paris. Yeah. Because before... It was funny for us, like we knew the kind of world we had to replicate because we live in this kind of apartment and stuff. So we took photography of 
everything we wanted and with the set designer we also did an amazing job like we yeah. we reproduced that flat uh, and the and the stairs the stairs were the stairs of my girlfriend apartment and uh, uh, yeah. The apartment were a mix of a lot of different stuff, and we yeah, because we had to quote, you know, the right apartment. Because you know, when you are, don't come from Paris, sometimes you uh, you can, you know, you can do a mistake and put like a sort of typical uh, Osmanian uh, flat. It was not what they they, they want, you know. They, they, they need to be like uh, 25, 30 uh, age people, you know, they, and this kind of people. We know in which kind of flat they could live. So uh, all this, uh, we need to even to, yeah, to, uh, we had a lot of meeting with the client and agency because they come from Paris as well. So you have to quote the exact uh, kind of people and the flat, uh, the flat is, uh, it means a lot when you're French, you know, what we're, uh, yeah. everywhere, everywhere yeah. the same, yeah. the kind of flat is, uh, is uh, it means a lot, yeah. Yeah, and, and I guess that was something that the client really wanted for this new campaign after the two other one was to really uh, root it in reality and in something that everybody could relate to, even the younger kids that don't have that mm. much money, you know. They wanted to be a little less fantasy than the previous uh, campaign. Uh, and that's why they really ask uh, for the apartment not to be too rich and 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 too over mm. the top and 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 too Paris cliche, uh, Champs Elysees, whatever you know. Actually, there is always the what they uh, they, uh, they, tell, they say they agree with and the reality. So we need to have some discussion about the casting, for instance, because we say okay, we will have real actors. They would like to have real actors, but a bit modally. So the uh, the fact that we had this real actor, that's because it, ah, right, we brought two actors and they had uh, uh, awards, like a fam really famous award. It helps a lot to get them, even if they are not so modally. And uh, and so uh, because it was, we didn't want to make something too uh, too fashion. Actually, we thought yes. it was. I think really it was interesting. To, yeah. yeah, it was yeah. a big, a big concern for us. Is how do you buy that argument? How do you buy these people? And uh, uh, I mean, in the term, how do you believe them to be true? And you recognize yourself a bit in them. And sometimes, maybe the weakness of very fashion uh, campaign is that it looks a bit away from reality. Like people are very nice, very well dressed, and it doesn't. So it, it wouldn't be the same if they were arguing. And we wanted to prioritize uh, the the acting skills of. I think that is, yeah, it's the way we shoot. We shot it, you know. It's true that, especially the intro that, yeah, second shot in the beginning. Uh, second shot at the beginning, you know, it gives you more of the pace of a film than a commercial because we don't cut for. Yeah, we 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 cut after uh, five six seconds, but it's uh, a lot in a commercial. Uh, and uh, we we would like to have yeah, the rhythm of a, of a movie rather than. The one from uh, coming from commercial. Uh, yeah, but actually, actually, this is this <laughs> one to be totally honest. It's we had a, a decent budget, but it was a, a, a small miracle to do it. To be honest, you know, this one it's a blockbuster. Right? It's because it costs a lot to do these kind of things, and I think it was. I think it's uh, it's more and more difficult to do things because it costs uh, more and more, and we have less and less money. If I'm uh, and uh, on this one, uh, we we did it in Ukraine, you know. With uh, so we had to go to this kind of country that they, they did an amazing job. It's, you know, it's just to uh, to save money to to make it doable. And actually, you know, the, the amount of time we had and the energy, the post production they, they put in that, it was uh, uh, it's it's really a miracle. Uh, miracle, you know. It's like something. It's like uh, so. I think it's the reason that we don't see that so 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 much now you know so so and it was more the case in the past it's just uh, it's really difficult with the uh, with the, the, the industry we are now you know the, to do uh, to be able to do these kind of things i don't think for me it's a question of budget i think what's interesting it's uh, this kind of dream like ad we transport yeah. you in a crazy world for the way, yes. Because yeah. it's a crazy world of fantasy, it's expensive to do it, you know, like what can as maybe uh, Levis used to have this kind of ad and, and it's expensive to, cre to create these kind of stories. But I think that the reality is 
not it's, it's not good or appealing because it's expensive it's just because it's, no 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 it's a, it's a dream it's a fantasy it's just transport you in a world you 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 wouldn't expect well, so and i think there's a lot of as raf is saying when he said it's a miracle it's the kind of moment where you say in french we say like all the planet align all together you know it's yeah. like you have a subject that is pretty strong and that you don't see so often the choice of music is obviously uh, I mean, yeah, it's quite lucky it's that really a well. song like that exists. And for French people, it reminds a lot of stuff. For foreigners, it's also, say, French. And you get this sense of something quite uh, from the past, but with a modern image on it. And we got amazing actors. So I think it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, a, it's a formula of a lot of stuff that makes it stand out. And yeah, it, it, was, it was a little bit expensive. But. 